everyone. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Agatha Chizoba Nubia. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mighty God, we continually thank you. And we continually implore your mercy and pray for a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we are going to study square root of sodic uh, expression. If you are given a sodic expression, how do you find the square root? If you ask to evaluate a square root of sodic expression, what do you do? We first of all ask ourselves, what do we mean by square root? If you are given a number, if you have a real number A, And you want to get the square root of A. By square root of A, you mean that number Y such that square of Y, Y square is equal to A. By square root. For example, we know that square root of 64 is equal to plus or minus 8. Y because minus 8 times minus 8 is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Good. Now, if what you are given is a sodic expression, how then do you determine the square root? Good. For example, you have to evaluate square root of 12 sub 5 plus 49. How do we evaluate it? Good. Now, we expect the square root of a sodic expression to be a sodic expression. There is no way the square root of a sodic expression will give you a rational number. Yes, it's not possible. So we expect a sodic expression to be a square root because we want to Determine what is that sodic expression such that when you multiply it by itself, it will give you the given one. Right. So, that is what we're asking ourselves here. Now, let us assume that the square root of this expression is equal to this. So we assume that square root of 12 sub 2 plus 49 is equal to plus or minus sub A plus sub B. Good. Having made this assumption now, our job is to determine the value of A and B. And how do we go about that? Squaring both sides, we have... This square root here is this raised to the power half. Okay? So that if you now square it, you have a times 2. And this cancels out. And that's why you have this left. All right. Now let's multiply this. Multiplying that, we have a sub A times sub A is A. Sub A times sub B is sub AB. Sub B times sub A is a sub A B. Sub B A, sub A B, since multiplication is a commutative, the direction does not matter. B A is the same thing as A B. Then sub B times sub B is equal to B. All right. So you find out that what we are given, what we have here is uh, we have a. Uh, a rational part 
And we have two of these. And we have a, an irrational part. So we have that 12 sub 5 plus 49 is equal to a plus b plus 2 sub ab. What do we do? We equate the rational to the irrational and the irrational to the irrational. So we have that 49 is equal to a plus b and 12 sub 5 is equal to 2 sub ab. Good. Remember, our job is to find our A and B. And we have two equations here. Call this equation 1, call this equation 2. Since we are to find two variables and we have two equations, that means we are done. Okay? All right. So let us solve the two equations simultaneously. From 1, from equation 1, we see that A is equal to... 49 minus B. Or you can say B is equal to 49 minus A. You find it, but let's we make A the subject here. Now, equation 2, observe that equation 2 is the same thing as you can divide both sides by 2. And if you do that, you have that this is C sub 5 is equal to sub AB. Squaring both sides, you have 6 times sub 5, 6 times sub 5, times 6 times sub 5 is equal to AB. Good. 6 times 6, we know is 36. Sub 5 times sub 5 is 5. So we have 180 is equal to AB. We just simplify the equation 2 is the same. Okay? So, substitute your value of A in equation 2. Substitute the value of A in equation 2. You have 180 equal to, our A is 49 minus B. Minus B. So, we have this. Multiply out, you have 180 equal to 49B minus B squared. So rearranging this, you have B squared minus 49B plus 180 equal to 0. You have a quadratic uh, equation, which we can solve. Let's solve it by factorization. Now we know that uh, 180 is... 45 times 4, 45 times 4 is 180, and uh, 45 plus 4 is 49. So we can use 45 and 4 to take care of this. So we have b squared minus 4b plus 45b plus 180 equal to 0. Sorry. Minus, we have b squared minus 4b minus 45b plus 180 equal to 0. All right, let's factorize. We have b into b minus 4. And uh, we have here, what's the common factor here? We have 45. 45 minus 45 into B minus 4. So that when you multiply it, you will have 180, okay? Equal to 0. Good. So we have B minus 4 into B minus 45 is equal to zero. Product of theory numbers equal to zero implies that this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero. So if b minus four is equal to zero, this implies that uh, b is equal to four. And if b 
minus 45 is equal to 0, it implies that B is equal to 45. So we now have two values for our B. We have two values for our B. We then go back to substitute our values for B to get the corresponding value of uh, A. All right. If B is equal to is equal to 4, we have that A is equal to 49 minus 4, equal to 45. So remember we assumed that the square root of the given uh, sodic expression is equal to plus or minus sod A plus sod B. So having got a value of A, we haven't got the value of A and B, we now see that the square root we are looking for is equal to plus or minus sod A, A is 45, 45, and the B is equal to 4. Good. Now, what of if we we'll take the other value of uh, B, which is 45? Are we going to have a different thing? That is a good question. Are we going to have a different thing? We'll check. Look at it. If B is equal to 45, that means what? A is equal to 49 minus 45, which is equal to 4. Okay, so with this, we also have that the square root of giving to us, uh, the square root of the sodic expression given to us will be sod A. What is sod A? Sod 4. So we have sod 4 plus sod 45. Sod 45. What do you observe? What do you observe? So here we have sub 45 plus sub 4. Plus or minus sub 45 plus sub 4. Here we have plus or minus sub 4 plus sub 45. Are they the same? Yes. Yes. Because addition is uh, commutative. The direction does not matter. A plus B is equal to B plus A. So we have the, the same thing. Finally, we have seen that the square root of 12 sub 5 plus 49 is equal to plus or minus sort 4 plus sort 45. Okay. Let you square this and see, convince yourself that it is actually the square root of uh, the... Observe also that sort 4 is not simplified and sort 45 is not simplified. So you should simplify further. You should leave your answer simplified. Okay? What is sort of sort for, for? So four is equal to two. So forty-five. Forty-five is equal to nine times five. So so forty-five is so nine times so five, which is three so five. And that is your final answer. As your final answer. Okay. Now, look at this other problem. We are asked to find the value of P if square root of 17 plus P sub 2 is equal to 2 sub 2 plus 3. All right. Now, it will be wrong for you to come here and say, because this is B sub 2, and you have 2 sub 2, that P will be equal to 2. No, it's wrong. It's wrong to do that. The P here, what you are seeing here, we have square root of the whole of this thing. Square root of that. It is the square root of this that is equal, equal to this. Okay. So, in order to find a value for P, P is still inside square root. We have to bring it out, okay? If you want to eat coconut, you have to break the shell before you can get the coconut. So, let us break the shell. How do we do that? This time is not by matchet, but by using the appropriate operator. So, what do we do? Observe that if I square this, as I'm squaring this, I still have to do it here. 
square both sides. If I square both sides, I will have something better. So I will have squaring both sides, I will have 17 plus P so 2 is equal to square both sides. 2 so 2 plus 3 into 2 so 2 plus 3. 2 so 2 times 2 so 2 will give me 2 times 2 will give me 4 and so 2 times so 2 is equal to 2. So I have 4 times 2 which is 8. So I have 8. 2 so 2 times 3 will give me 6. 2 times 3 plus 6 so 2. And uh, 3 times this will give me 6. So 2, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So I have this, I have that 17 plus P so 2 is equal to 8 plus 12 so 2 plus 9. Okay? This is irrational. This is irrational. So I can add the two together. I'll have 17 plus 12 sub 2. All right. So I have that 17 plus P sub 2 is equal to 17 plus 12 sub 2. Very clear that D is equal to 12. All right. So we thank God for the mathematical experience and i want to tell you if you have not subscribed to my channel i call on you to subscribe watch share make your comments may god bless us all in jesus name amen thank you bye bye